how's, how's everything going on? I hope we are all in good shape despite and in spite of everything that's going on around us. This is your virtual teacher Nina for another virtual learning episode on TLD6 Entrepreneurship and Information and Communication Technology. Last time we have discussed Lesson 5 which is the first topic for Unit 2 of TLD6. The lesson was about posting and sharing materials in wikis in a safe and responsible manner. Please stay with me up to the end of this video and let us all together learn about our new lesson for this episode. I am so happy that we are now moving on to Lesson 6, Posting and Sharing Materials on Blogs in a Safe and Responsible Manner. Lesson 6. Posting and sharing materials on blogs in a safe and responsible manner. Learning competency. Posts and shares materials on blogs in a safe and responsible manner. Lesson objectives. Number 1. Define blog. Number 2. Explain the different types of blog. Number 3. Discuss the importance of starting a blog. And number 4. Post and share materials on blogs in a safe and responsible manner. Blog, also known as weblog, is a personal online journal that contains short entries written and updated by an individual called a blogger. It is an individualized web communication tool that allows quick and easy publishing of text, photos, voice updates, artwork, or links to other websites or other blogs. Many people are using blogs nowadays to share their thoughts, creativity, and experiences through any of the following types. Number 1. Personal It includes blogs about personal topics such as travel, music, health, among others. Number 2. Business Professionals use this platform to share their expertise and companies use blog to have a more personal engagement to their customers. Number 3. School Teachers and students may utilize blogs to collaborate for an assignment or project. Number 4. Private some people like to keep their posts exclusive to their families, companies, etc. Number five, how to tips and reviews. Tips and reviews about travel, cooking, books, etc. are also rampant in blogs. Let's now go to the importance of starting a blog. Blogging is now very popular because it offers new opportunities for everyone from individuals to businesses. The following are the importance of starting a blog. Number one, Blogging provides opportunities to share thoughts, feelings, opinions, and experiences. Number two, blogging is fun and gives bloggers the chance to develop creativity. Many successful bloggers have fun posting unique and creative ideas. Number three, blogging is an effective way of staying active, updated, and knowledgeable in field or topic. Number four, Blogging offers the perfect opportunity for friends and families to stay connected using the internet. It allows friends and families to share personal stories, photos, videos, and more information. Number 5. Last but not the least, blogging is an influential tool that will help businesses promote their products and services. It can help in building a stronger relationship with customers and promote them to become loyal patronizers. There are a lot of well-known blog sites that offer hosting of personal or professional blogs. Examples of free blog platforms include WordPress.com. So how are we going to create a blog post? Creating a blog post may differ depending on the platform used. The following are the general steps that must be followed when creating a blog post. Number one, go to blogging platform website. Number two, if you are not yet registered, create an account, fill out all the necessary information such as username, password, email address, and name, among others. Number three, choose a domain name, example, student blogger, for wordpress.com. Number four, verify your email address. Number five, once registered, you may now log in to your account. And number six, customize the name of your blog. Number seven, write a post keep it interesting yet concise number eight add a little to your post number nine check your grammar spelling and punctuation used 
Number 10. You may add photo, video, music, among others. Number 11. Publish your work. There are things that we should remember in blogging or creating a blog or starting a blog. Let's now have the blogging do's and don'ts. Blogging is both a privilege and a responsibility. Here are some guidelines to follow to ensure responsible blogging while enjoying its perks. Number one, always ask permission if you are going to use files created and owned by others that includes photos, audio, video clips, images, and many more. Number two, write respectfully. You may use a conversational or friendly tone but still be professional. Do not post anything that is offensive in nature. Number three, write objectively. Write about the things that inspire you but do not be too subjective. Always back up opinions and suggestions with facts. Number four, choose exciting, timely, and informative topics. However, do not write just to appeal to the masses. Write about topics that are interesting, well-organized, unique, and entertaining. Number five, do not post your personal information. Number six, do not make any personal attack on anybody. Avoid bashing people you do not like. Instead, use your blog for doing positive activities. So again, we have five questions here. Please try to answer them to test whether you understand and you learn something from our lesson today. Thank you and good luck.